Hi YouTubers, this is Zero Ems and today I'm going to show you how to program 80Tiny10 in Visual Studio Code. In one of my previous videos, yeah, I explained to you how to build this uh, circuit and how to write this uh, blinking application for ATtiny10, but for development I used the uh, command line and notepad, which is not very comfortable. Therefore I decided to show you how to do that more clever way using Visual Studio Code. The first thing you have to do is to install Visual Studio Code. If you don't have it already installed on your machine, just click download and after downloading just click on the installer. Then you have to accept the agreement, click on the next. I'm going to leave this default option, click next and then finish installation by clicking on install. In this video I'm going to use source files uh, which I wrote uh, in Notepad yeah, in one of my previous videos and you can start Visual Studio Code by writing code dot and here it is, yeah, this is Visual Studio Code. On the left side you can see two files which I wrote in that previous video. The first one is the Blink program and the second file is the make file for compiling and uploading. Before you start writing some code, yeah, you have to install one important extension which is called C, C++. Just search for it, yeah, and click on install and that's it, yeah. And let's return back to the source code. As you can see there is some issue, yeah. Visual Studio Code can't recognize where header files are located. So I have to say to Visual Studio Code, yeah, where to find these files. And it's very easy to do. Just press F1, search for C, C++ and find edit configuration. In the edit configuration just find compiler path and you have to put it there the directory yeah where avia gcc compiler is located i have to use double quotes because of empty spaces in the path yeah i have to also change intellisense mode which is gcc x86 and let's return back to the source code as you can see header files are recognized now but there are still some other issues and this time Visual Studio can't recognize some definition it's because it doesn't know which microcontroller I use yeah so I have to tell Visual Studio Code which microcontroller I use you have to go to the defines yeah field and you have to put it there definitions for the microcontroller which you use yeah in my case it's 80 tiny 10 and when I return to the source code all issues disappeared beautiful and this way you can do for any AVR microcontroller, yeah? And let's take a look how easy it is to write code, yeah, in Visual Studio Code. As you can see, Visual Studio Code automatically gives me hints, yeah? And I don't need to think too much, yeah, about names of uh, functions or definitions, yeah? If I move cursor over some definitions, yeah, you can see how they are defined, yeah, it's beautiful. I think it's uh, much easier than uh, writing code in Notepad, yeah, <laughs> of course. The only problem is if you get used to it, yeah, you can live without it, yeah. <laughs> but that's not all I wanted to tell you. Now I'm going to show you how to build your code in Visual Studio Code, yeah. You can use makefile from command line, but why when you can call it from Visual Studio Code, yeah? But the thing you have to do for that is to define build task, yeah? So again, press F1, search for configure task, click on the others, and after clicking you can define your task. I'm just changing the name of the task, uh, which is make, in my case, yeah? the task it's shell task yeah and it just calls make file yeah which i wrote and the last thing you have to do is to tell visual studio code that 
make task is default task, yeah, like this. And now you are ready for compiling and uploading your code. When you have defined the default build task, it's actually very easy, yeah. From the terminal menu, just click on run build task, yeah, and it triggers the default, yeah, build task. Or you can use, of course, a shortcut Control Shift B, and voila, yeah, the make utility is called, and our code is compiled and uploaded to the microcontroller. Now I'm changing the code, yeah, a little, and using the shortcut, yeah, I've triggered that again, yeah. It's beautiful. I like it. And now you know everything you should know, yeah to start programming your AVR microcontrollers in Visual Studio Code. Yeah. I hope it was uh, kind of useful for you. If you have any questions, please ask me in comments. Yeah, I'll answer Yeah, all of them. So that's it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.